Hey guys, and welcome back to this mini series on designing and building a chat application with Socket.io. In the last video, we went ahead and stubbed out basically the HTML structure here for our application, and then did some uh, set ourselves up with some utility classes, some resets, and some variables in our CSS. So now we're going to go in and, and really kind of finish out, I think, the majority of the style in this video, and uh, then we'll go into adding functionality later on. And I don't think we're actually going to need this uh, the JavaScript file, so we'll just come back to our index.html. So if we come back and look at the classes that we uh, created before, notice again that we've got a lot of things around Flexbox. And Flexbox, again, I think you should spend some time, some additional time, looking at what Flexbox is and how to use it. But it's a great way to really lay out and organize items and in, in, in how they're positioned on the page. And this is, uh, it solves a lot of the problems that people had in the past of like, how do you center something within a div vertically and horizontally? Or how do you push things to all the way to the right and to the left and stay on the same line and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to start taking advantage of a lot of uh, these classes now. And we're going to start with our, our app container. And it looks like I missed one in the previous video where we actually want to have this, all the stuff in the body surrounded by something, a div with an ID of app container. And let me cut that out and put it at the bottom and save this and I should get some auto formatting. So all I did here was just surround everything we had with this uh, div with an ID of app container. Now what, what we want to do is apply a class called flex column. And before I save this, remember that flex, display flex creates a flex container. So by default, if I did just flex here and I save this, it's gonna put things next to each other and I can give us a little more space here by closing this console. It's gonna put things next to each other horizontally. So that's the, that's the default. Now we want this to actually stack things vertically. So we're gonna do a flex a column. And now we should go back to exactly what we had. We shouldn't see any difference here. Now where we will start to see a difference is we want, uh, we want these things, the quick chat and the uh, easiest way to get your message across items to be centered and we want them to also be stacked on top of each other. So this little container here around uh, around those two items, looks like we missed a class here. So let's, let's come back in. I think we're missing one that we need. Yeah, container. Uh, so that's gonna be the first thing that we're gonna do. So let's come down uh, to the bottom of our utility stuff and, and do a, a class of container. And typically in Bootstrap and, uh, and other frameworks, uh, container is, is really gonna give some padding really on the, the left and right of your content. So it's gonna get it off of the edge of the page. And that's more or less what we're gonna use it for here as well. So container, we're gonna set a max width of 600 pixels. And then we're gonna set a margin of zero auto. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna let container grow as much as 600 pixels. And then it's gonna stop at 600 pixels. And it's gonna put, uh, put itself uh, in the center horizontally so that you get the space on the left and the right. So let's actually, let's save that. And then in our, um, in the container inside of our header, let's save it and now we should see a little bit of padding here. So this from about there to there is gonna be 600 pixels. And actually let's, um, let's inspect this just so you guys can see. And I wanna bring it over a little bit as well. So as I start moving it out, you should see what's going on. So the header here is this big, it's, it's the whole width. And then the container inside of it, you can see here, is, is, is a max render of 600 pixels wide. So that's really what we want there. Or actually, sorry, that's the, that's the H1, but I could select the, let's see, container here. And now you can see, it's just got basically padding or, or margin, I guess, on either side. Yeah, it more specifically is margin. But that's what our container is gonna do, and that's what we're using it for. So let me move that. So we've got containers. Then we want to change, we want to add a couple more classes. We want to still stack these things. Uh, we want to use Flexbox. We want to stack them uh, vertically. So we'll use Flex Column. And then we'll use Flex Center. And what that's going to do is it's going to now center these two pieces of text inside of, uh, inside of the container. And this is not quite what we want. So we actually want these things, if we look at the finished example, to be lined up on the left. Um, so instead of using, instead of using, let's take away the, uh, well actually let's leave flex center and that's going to give us the, the, um, the centering vertically. And let's go ahead and, and start to style our header just a bit so we get a good look at, at what's going on. 
So let's uh, let's come over to our CSS and come down and we'll do a uh, header header section and we'll select our header and we want it to be a height of 150 pixels and so now if we look we get uh, what appears to be blank space but if we select we can see our header is now bigger uh, which is what we want and then we can do a background color of the dark blue all right save that okay starting to look a little not necessarily better yet but uh, we'll set the width to 100%, make sure it goes all the way across. And then we're going to set the color here to white. So this is change, change the text here to white, which is good. So what um, we had to find here in our class is the flex column and flex center. And what flex center should do is center this content horizontally and vertically. But if we look, we'll see that the actual container inside is not uh, is not as, as tall as the header itself. So even though things don't appear to be centered, they actually are centered. It's just that the container is not as uh, as tall as the header here. So what we can do is come in and grab uh, the container inside of our header, and we can say height is going to be 100%. All right, so that's going to center things uh, vertically. And now instead of having things centered perfectly, we actually want them aligned to the left. So if we look at what uh, Flex Center gives us, it's Justify Content Center Align Item Center. We can basically come down here and just do an align items left and just override that center. And now we should get uh, more or less what this header looks like here. And we still got to apply a light text to the bottom part, I think is what we're missing. So that looks good. Uh, let's come over, just check our HTML again, and we can start to fix that so by applying the light text class. And I'm going to move this back over so hopefully we can see it a little bit better still and maybe I can maybe I don't need so much space for code either all right so if we apply the light text class and save it we should see hopefully this will be updated to be uh, what we want so that's starting to look good now we can start and I'm at the point now where I think I'm just gonna toggle between these two things so we can see it kind of on a full screen all right and I'm gonna make this one Full screen as well so we'll just we'll just toggle between these two that way I'll have plenty of room to use my inspector and console and all that stuff so now if we start to take a look at our main content let's go and fill in a little bit of this stuff so inside of our form we want to have an input of type text and a name here will be username uh, and an ID will be username input and then placeholder will be username as well save that and then we should see a really crappy looking input uh, box there so we'll, we'll obviously fix that in a minute and then we'll have a button with an ID of login button and then content of chat so this is gonna be our form so that's what we're gonna be working with and we'll go through and style that in a second uh, let's see if there's anything I'm missing looks good and then we'll go ahead and fill out a little bit of content for our message list, and then we'll start applying some classes to style those things and really get them looking right. So for each uh, each one of these things, each one of these messages, we're gonna have uh, inside of it, we're gonna have a div with a class of message details, and then inside of that, we'll have a P with a class of message author, and we'll say James Quick, and then we'll have a P with a class of message date, and we'll say uh, 10 31 2017, Halloween, whatever it is. Uh, and then I'm just gonna copy this because it's basically gonna look the same and do that. Um, and one of these, we'll, we'll say the top one is gonna be a left. The right one actually won't have an author. Uh, so we can actually leave the author tag and just leave it blank, which will be fine. That'll save us from doing too much differentiation between the two. These things should look pretty much the same except for a couple of different things. Uh, and the biggest differentiator is the message left versus the message right. And the last thing we're gonna do, uh, we'll also do a P tag with a class of secondary text. We'll also add a couple of classes of text center. And then I uh, will say James Quick has joined the chat. All right. 
So we've got a couple of these laid out. They should look pretty crappy. Uh, if we see, we've got James Quick and then uh, 1031 and the date and then just the date and then James Quick join. And the one thing I did forget is each one of these should have a T tag with message content. And in VS Code, you can do a lorem 15 and tab and it will generate some text for you. And I'm just gonna copy this thing down here as well. And you might be wondering why we surround these two things, uh, the author and the date, with a div. And what we're going to do is, is message details itself is going to be uh, a flex container, and we're just going to align these things uh, horizontally. So let's let's just look at what we've got. So right now, um, what we'll need to do is the message details. We will have them displayed basically um, uh, one on the left, one on the right, and then the text is just going to go right right below that. And just to finish out our form, we will have an input with a type of text, and the name will be message, and the ID will be message input, and the placeholder will be enter a message. And then we'll have a button as well, and it will have an ID of login button. Save this. And now we've got the rest of our HTML really stubbed out here. Now we're basically going to go through and just apply some of the classes that we want to make things uh, look a little bit better. So let's come back up to, let's start with our login form, a login form here. And uh, we'll first start with applying text center to getting started. So that should center that thing. And then we want to add a class of flex to login form. And now we should see uh, probably nothing changed because it's, it's going to be a horizontal layout by default. And what we want to do is we basically want to say, let, uh, on login, let's see here, let this part of the input take up as much space as it can within this container and then just have chat take up what it needs. So to do that, we're going to use our flex grow one on this. So we'll do a flex and then a flex uh, grow one. And we should see if we put it in the right spot. Spot here so this is actually going to go down with input and hopefully this will now all right looks like I've got flex in the wrong spot as well so on the form we will use a class of flex which will put the items side by side uh, as they were originally then the input is going to have flex grow one so let's take a look one more time now we should see this input takes up all the space and the chat button is on the right and we're actually going to do the same kind of thing with our login form so this should have a class of flex and then the input should have a class of flex grow one as well. And we'll see the same thing down there. So that's good. All right, so the last thing for our login is just to go in and style it a bit. So let's say we'll do a login form section and we'll start to work on styling it. And it's not gonna be a whole lot here. We wanna have uh, for our login, form, I think we just call it, or the login section is just going to be uh, ID of login. We're going to do a background of white, we're going to do padding of 40 pixels and 100 pixels, a box shadow, and we're going to do 0, 2 pixels, 4 pixels, and then RGBA of 0, 0, 0, 0 0.5, so the 0 0.5 is the transparency or alpha. Uh, then margin top is going to be negative 100 because uh, by default it's going to be centered directly in the center and I want to move it up just a little bit when it's uh, when it's in the center of the screen and that will that will get to in a minute but uh, let's see let's see what this looks like uh, so we've got that looks pretty good for what we want we obviously uh, are going to need to position this a little bit better and let's start now so since we're working specifically on the on the uh, login stuff let's go ahead and give a class of hidden to chat, and that's going to go ahead and hide it. So now we really know that we're looking at um, at just our, our login form. Now I want to go ahead and uh, go ahead and center this stuff inside of the main content div. So class, uh, we're going to give it a container. So that's going to add the spacing on the left and right. Then we're, then it is a flex child inside of this app container. So I'm going to give it a flex grow of one, which means it's basically going to take up the rest of the page after whatever the header takes up. And then we're also going to give it a, um, a class of flex column. And we'll save that and uh, take a look. 
here. And I think the last thing we want to do is apply flex center to this so we can center this thing. Now I wanted you guys to see a little bit of, about why this might not um, act as, as, as you might think and something that certainly tripped me up a lot of, uh, in the past. And it's that, uh, you know, we've got, we basically told this, the main content section here, we want it to fill the rest of the screen uh, after the header takes up whatever space it needs. But if we look at main content here, it actually is not taking up that much. It ends at the bottom of this form here, which might not be as uh, what we expect. So what we have to do is we basically have to tell, um, tell the main content to, or actually tell our app container to be 100% of the, um, of the width and height of the of the actual screen. So let's come in and let's select at container. So this is that parent div, and we'll say height is gonna be 100 VH, uh, and then width is gonna be 100 view W, and that's gonna be view width and view height. Uh, so let's see what that does for us. Now things are a little bit centered the way we expect. Uh, we're gonna do, go ahead and set up our background color here. So var of primary blue. And hopefully now we're starting to get a little bit more into uh, into what we would expect for um, for uh, in comparison with this full application. So I'm getting a little bit longer than I expected. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video, and we will in the next video finish styling out the application. Uh, we'll do both the form for getting started, and then the, uh, and for the login getting started, and then also the form um, and the display of the messages in the next one. So I will see you guys there.